What is going on guys? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert. And today I want to discuss the Bitcoin manipulation that's been taking place in this market. And most people are equating this to being Soros, the Rothschilds coming in here and just manipulating the price of Bitcoin along with Coinbase custody accounts from family offices and institutional investors using HFT bots, high frequency trading to manipulate these prices and see these big volume candle spikes that we have been getting this whole way up. But guys, I do want to present something else to the table now that has not been talked about really. So I have a new theory that there may be some other players in here besides these guys that are making this price a little bit more bloated than it should be at this time and why we're seeing such erratic Bart Simpson behavior within the Bitcoin market. So guys, you already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. So the new players I want to bring in here, guys, are the exchanges themselves. Now, I'm not calling out any exchange in particular because it's really impossible to know who would would be doing this the most if it's not all of them contributing a little bit with their own HFT bots that are playing basically off the same algorithmic parameters. So as you guys know, if you're subscribed to this channel, I've been posting all videos showing these types of candles that come in specifically on the 15 minute time frame. Now you'll notice that when you're looking at the Bitcoin charts, guys, the entire trends the micro trends in here, guys, are defined by these large candles that come in with extreme volume and they make it essentially the catalyst for the next leg up. Now, it also happens on the way down. As you can see here, this was a red one that came in. And what you see is in these gaps, guys, there's huge volume, then gap, 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 huge volume. And if we just keep going through the trend, guys, you see this over and over and over again throughout the entire uh, trend of Bitcoin. It just keeps happening over and over again. Now, up until really today, when I started to do some more research, I also was under the impression that the majority of this volume is probably coming from Coinbase custody accounts, meaning family offices and small hedge funds with a minimum $10 million balance in their GDAX trading account using high frequency trading bots, which is extremely normal and I would expect nothing less from them. And that is definitely making up for a portion of these huge volume spikes on the small time frames. But what I also want to bring to the table now, guys, is some weird stuff going on with these exchanges. Now, just for an example, Gemini increased their trading fees by 400% recently, guys, just in April, 2018, they increased their fee by 400% guys, four times. Okay. So you may not understand what I'm getting at first, but when volume is lower on Bitcoin, guys, that means that the exchanges are making less money. Now, with this incredible surge in volume that we had through the big bubble to 20K in 2017, we had these exchanges taking on so many more employees, taking on so many new trading pairs, so many new server upgrades, heaps of money were thrown into these exchanges to compensate for the influx of new investors and new uh, money coming in here. And they had to spend a bunch of money to be able to handle that situation. Now, what I'm saying here is we're seeing it with Gemini already that they were forced to increase their fees by 400% to make up for this loss in volume. So now I'm not specifically pointing out Gemini here as somebody that I would say is involved in here, but I just want to use them as an example of an exchange that is needing to up their profit margin because of the fall off in Bitcoin volume since the bubble in 2017, their business model needed to change because of the decrease in volume. Um, now, something else I, I wanted to point out here too, guys, is KuCoin, right? Now, I know if you guys are subscribed here, you probably use KuCoin to buy some altcoins. Now, we saw during the bubble 
that KuCoin went up to nearly $20 USD. Absolutely insane. And really, at the bottom of this crash here, guys, we saw it dip below $2 USD. That's wild. That's wild. Now, the reason I'm pointing this out specifically is because with these exchange coins, right, the way KuCoin shares works, and that's why it's called shares, is that by you holding the KuCoin share, you get a percentage of the the fees taken by the exchange from, from people trading on it. That's the business model for the KCS coin. So during this bubble, guys, the trading volume on KuCoin was absolutely insane. Thus, the share was yielding more of a profit because of the amount of trades taking place on the exchange. Now, as the bubbles kind of popped and we're only just starting to get back into the swing of things, Obviously, this coin lost a ton of value because the trading volume on the exchanges is so low right now, guys. Only recently have we started picking volume back up. So when you combine this metric here and why this coin has lost so much value because of the decrease in trading volume on the exchange, mixed with Gemini having to increase their fees by 400%, I want to bring to the table that we could see exchanges artificially bumping this price up here, guys. Now, again, I'm not pointing fingers at any one exchange, but I do also think it is a little bit weird with all of the exchanges and the, the ones that accept USDT with all of the kind of tinfoil hat theories for lack of a better way to say it um surrounding tether and if it's a fraud and if they're printing more tether than actually exists i'm not going to say all also that it's just tether itself it could be with fiat pairs too but i do believe that there is some kind of scheme going on here guys with the exchanges using their profits to prop this market back up because what winds up happening guys is that when the market is healthy volume increases exponentially and with things like kucoin which i was just showing you guys right? The market has been healthy this week, specifically this week. And if we look back even three weeks ago when it began, guys, right? The market was still flatlined and not healthy about a month ago. And that's what we're looking at here reflected in the price of KuCoin shares under $3 USD. And now with the market healthy and these absolute rocket ship candles coming in here, manipulation candles purely guys this is not organic at all these are manipulation candles the whole way guys now with them propping up this market with the hft manipulation candles beginning to trade with a bullish bias as of about three weeks ago what do you know guys kucoin has essentially doubled and is looking to go even more than 100% in that time frame. So volume has come back in and you can see why there would be an incentive for exchanges to prop up this price of Bitcoin, add their own volume back in, whether that's using the exchange fees to buy it in at a set time, whether this is an HFT algorithm that they're using to do collectively across all exchanges or maybe it's just one or two exchanges but you can see from gemini having to increase their fees by 400 percent that they need to compensate for the lack of volume after they scaled their business up tenfold during this bubble to accommodate all of the new accounts and new investors coming in. And with these people leaving, there simply is just not enough profit being made anymore to justify all the money that they had to put in. So I just want to put that on your radar, guys, that it may not be Soros or, or the Rothschilds like everybody's freaking out about. It may not just be the Coinbase custody accounts with family offices and small hedge funds. I believe they play a role here too, guys, but it may not just be them now. I'm seeing and connecting the dots here that with the exchanges having their profits slashed by uh, an amazing an amazing amount of money from where they were back here at the end of 2017. Their profit margins have gone down the drain as of late. So there's a there's an interesting paradigm here, guys, and I want to hear what you have to say about that. Um, let me know down in the comment section what you think about this. Do you think the exchanges have any any hand in this? Now, I think it is all of these players in here, guys. I think it is the big-time whale 
holders. I think it is the exchanges. And I also believe that it's just regular family offices, small hedge fund, high frequency trading bots that are creating these candle and they may all work together in this, but just keep in mind that none of this growth right now on Bitcoin, in my opinion, is organic at all. What we're seeing is complete manipulation. And that's why I've been really staying out of Bitcoin for the most part, guys, because I don't want to be a victim of this garbage in here. What I'm doing is focusing on small cap altcoins that have been yielding absolutely ridiculous gains, guys. Ridiculous. Let alone staying out of this manipulation game that, that these big players players are, are forcing us to take part in. I'm playing in the small cap altcoin market, guys, seeing returns like last week of plus 125%, plus 75%, plus 50%, plus 30%, 30%, 20, 20, 10, 10, 15. These are the types of gains that I'm seeing in the altcoin market, which is not being manipulated like the Bitcoin market is. And that is where I'm focusing all of my time and putting all of my effort. Now, we are seeing the market cap grow steadily here in the altcoin market and cryptocurrency as a whole, now over 420 billion, which is great and healthy for this altcoin market specifically. So you guys already know if you are subscribed here and follow this channel, I do have a public trading signals channel on telegram t.me slash altcoin party. Highly encourage you to get in there. The link is down below. Get in there. And if you do want to become part of my private VIP elite community, guys, where you get access to me 24 seven, plus full transparency into my crypto trading career. I do this full time guys. And my focus right now is on the small cap gems that are yielding these absolutely insane returns. I mean, look at this, look at those results right there, guys. That is last week, solely last week let alone everything else that I have planned for this week. My research game has been crazy. I've barely been sleeping. This market is hot right now, guys. If you're interested in getting in the private VIP elite trading community, where you get all of my personal entries, exits, targets, insights, on the Bitcoin and altcoins market, plus our traders chat, over 200 traders in there now, guys, absolutely crushing it. Plus, we have a data bot which scrapes social media for coins no one else is really targeting besides us and a brand new AI artificial intelligence trading signals bot. Guys, just shoot me a direct message on Twitter at Crypto Kirby or direct message on Telegram at Crypto Kirby. Mention VIP Elite and I'll get you in there with us right now after the video. So guys, if you can, please smash up those thumbs ups. It really does help the channel grow and I so appreciate you guys being here. If you're brand new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tick the little bell as I do do a daily crypto video and a nightly live stream almost every day for you guys. Let's watch this manipulation play out. Do you guys think that the exchanges have any any hand in this or do you think it's truly just these big time whales the hfts being played with on the coinbase custody accounts by hedge funds and family offices or do you see the correlation that i'm pointing out here now and if so who do you think may be involved like i said leave a comment down below i like to respond and i like to spark up a conversation so until next time guys be safe be happy be healthy it's your boy crypto kirby peace and love my friends curbs